Nalu from the UK, can be contacted at simicov at zahav.net.il. 14. Rally for Israel. Hold a rally in your city. When thousands of people turn out for a public display of support, it affects all segments of your community, the politicians, the media, general public opinion. And most importantly, it engenders unity and pride within the Jewish and pro-Israel community. 15. Know your enemy. The Arab world tends to say one thing in English, but a very different message in Arabic. Blood libels and fabrications of Israeli-sponsored massacres are common. Memory www.memri.org provides important translations of the Arabic media. And the Center for Monitoring Impact Peace Track Palestinian Compliance with Peace Agreements www.edume.org. 16. Unity. When we stop arguing amongst ourselves and work together, then we can stand united against the enemy, and the Almighty with us. Jerusalem was destroyed because of people speaking negatively about each other, so that is the way we can rebuild Jerusalem. Let us abstain from seeing or listening to anything bad about any Jew, any group of Jews, or even the Israeli government unless it is constructive critique. The only way to stand against our enemies is to become one with each other, to lay down our differences and work together. 17. Holocaust Education With the rise of anti-Semitic incidents around the world, and the state-sponsored anti-Semitism in Arab countries, it is important to see the warning signs before a crisis happens. Learning about the Holocaust helps us appreciate the depth of anti-Semitism and its root causes. Excellent information is online at www.anti-semitism.com. Squelch all anti-Semitic language everywhere you are. Stand up against this terrible hatred, no matter what the consequences. 18. Visit your congressman. Form a concerned citizens group, and then make appointment to sit with your congressman for an hour in his Washington office. Then rent a bus and go. He will see how seriously his constituents are about the Mideast issues. 19. Educate the Palestinian public. With all the hatred in the Palestinian media, textbooks, etc., an entire generation is being raised for war, not peace. Find ways to introduce democratic values into Palestinian society. Jews cannot realize their dream for peace until the Arabs desire the same. 20. Strive to be a better person. Be nice to fellow Jews and fellow human beings. Before you go to sleep each night, go through your day, review your behavior, and resolve what you can do better. By setting an example of higher Jewish moral and ethical standards, we can strengthen the nation of Israel and by extension, the state of Israel. 21. Teshuvah. Ultimately, the reviving of our devotion to the Almighty is going to bring about the reviving of the land, and our people as a whole. If we can elevate ourselves even a little, it can arouse the Almighty's compassion and Jewish lives can be spared. Each individual who does Teshuva brings Israel one step closer to redemption. 22. Post on the web. There are hundreds of Palestinian websites devoted to spreading propaganda with pictures of starving Palestinian children and sites with blood dripping down your screen describing the horror of massacres orchestrated by the fascist Israelis. Pro-Palestinian activists have flooded chat rooms, bulletin boards, and online comments sections. Speak up against individuals who spread lies, against the mobs who bomb synagogues in Europe, and against those who preach intolerance in our schools and universities. Be strong and take heart in the knowledge that all decent people are on Israel's side. 23. Make a small repair. If you've had an argument with someone, simply forgive them, and then ask God to forgive his people. 24. Donate blood. When you are in Israel, donate blood. With all the recent attacks, there is a great shortage. To give blood is to give life and shows a deep solidarity with Israel and the Jewish people. 25. Fight child abuse. Palestinian children are being brainwashed into sacrificing their lives for the promise of martyrdom. A group called Sick, 
Stop inciting children to kill www.operationsick.com is trying to stop this child abuse. 26. Support Israeli Citizens Show Israelis your support, love and friendship by writing letters, postcards and emails to everyone you know. Become an email pen pal to someone in Israel. 27. Thank God for his many miracles. Read the Jerusalem Post www.jpost.com to see how almost every day suicide bombers and attacks are averted. And thank God. 28. Organize an Israeli products fair. In Denver, Christians and Jews have come together under Action Israel to sponsor what is called Ben Yehuda Street in Denver. Shop owners in Jerusalem send some of their inventory and it is sold for them. This helps Jerusalem merchants keep their shops open and provide a living for their families during this terrible time. Thousands turned out for the first effort, and another is scheduled for April 21st at the JCC in Denver. 29. The Merit of a Mitzvah Before you do any one of the 613 mitzvot, have in mind that God should use this merit to help protect Israel. 30. Support Majin David Adam Israel's medical emergency service is severely financially strapped and in need of ambulances. Months of terror have stretched MDA to its maximum capacity, while exposing its rescue workers to extreme danger and great sacrifice. Get your synagogue or school to start a campaign to defray the cost of an ambulance. Or contribute online at www.magendavidom.org. Jewish lives depend on it. 31. Allah. Make Israel your home. You can have a great effect on what happens in Israel by living there. A large influx of educated, entrepreneurial Jews from Western countries will give Israel a major boost. Israel is the place where a Jew is truly at home and can maximize her Jewish potential. Start making plans to move when things quiet down or even now if you're brave. 32. Learn Hebrew. Call your local synagogue and find out about Hebrew classes. This will build your bond with the Jewish people and the land of Israel. 33. Get the Israeli side. There's a lot of misinformation out there. When an incident happens in Israel, visit the websites of the Israeli Ministry of Foreign Affairs www.mfa.gov.il and the Israeli Defense Forces www.idf.il slash English slash news slash main .stm to get the Israeli side of the story. 34. Learn Torah. Through the learning of Torah, the world is brought to its senses and the Jewish people are protected. Make a commitment to a specific increase in the amount of time you learn each day. Attend a class about Judaism, or pick something from the recommended reading list at http www.aish.com slash literacy slash refereNCE slash recommended underscore books dot ASP. The impact of even a few extra minutes of Torah learning is enormous. And teach Torah to your children. 35. Contact the President. Call or email President Obama daily or weekly to commend his support for Israel in the common fight against terrorism and respectfully urge him to allow Israel to take vigorous action to defend itself. Write a short, personal email with a subject line like, Thank you for standing with Israel. Every call, letter, and fax is counted. Send email to president at whitehouse.gov or call the White House Common Line at 202-456-11.